Hello guys, what's up? It's Matt here. Just finished warming up and today I will be training back. I will start off with some bend over rows. I will do four to five sets, increasing the weight over time and decreasing the reps. Just very simple. And then I will move on doing some T-bar rows. Um, I think uh, about three sets. And then I will finish off with, I think, with a couple of sets of just normal rows. And of course I will be doing everything with dumbbells because that's what I have. But nonetheless, I think that the uh, training will be effective anyway. So guys, I'll see you soon. Okay guys, that was uh, 30 pounds and I've done 20 reps, so I will move my way up until 70 pounds with 5 reps and then I think I will drop the weight to probably um, 20 pounds and try to do uh, 15 to 20 reps just very slow, try to get the movement done right. But yeah, I will see you in the next set. So guys, I skipped the 40 pounds and I move uh, straight away to 50, which is about 20 kilos and I will now increase the weight to um, 60 pounds and try to do at least 10 reps, okay? See you next time. Okay guys, this was a set of 10 with 60 pounds and I will now move on to set of 5 with 70 pounds. So see you in the next set. Okay guys, I will now move on to the last set with about 20 pounds just to uh, build up the mind-muscle connection and try to uh, perfect the movement as much as I can with a lighter weight and uh, I will then change exercise to some T-bar row. Okay, see you in the next set. Alright guys, I'm done with bend over rows and I will shortly uh, tell you a few points about this, um, I'll make a few points about this uh, particular exercise and the set I've just done. Okay guys, so I would like to make a few points about my execution of uh, those exercises, those sets actually of bend over rows. So first of all, I try to imitate as much as I 
could um, the same movement that I would have done if I had a barbell, essentially. But keep in mind, guys, that doing uh, 60 pounds each dumbbell, okay, which is about, I think, 27 kilos, is not the same as doing 135 on a barbell, which is pretty much the same weight, but the distribution is totally different. It's much harder to do um, dumbbells compared to a standard barbell. In fact, if you bench 225, it's not automatic that you will be able to <laughs> dumbbell press 50 kilos, okay? So that's one point. And of course, because of that, uh, when the weight get, got heavier, actually, uh, has been harder to keep the same range of motion, not only because of the weight itself, but also because the dumbbell became so big that they hit my rib cage and I couldn't pull them over, essentially. But as I mentioned already in several other videos, that's not, that's not what I would do in a normal training session. I would start with barbells and then move up to single hand exercises or dumbbells. But here I have, as I say, access only to dumbbells. So for this uh, particular training, I will be using them. And uh, yeah, I will now move on to set of uh, T-bar rows, always with dumbbell. I will do uh, 20 set, um, sorry, 20 reps each set uh, with 40, 50, and 60 pounds. Okay, see you in the next set. So first set done, and what is nice about the power blocks is actually that you can grip them on the side and they will look like uh, a bit like the V-grip that you use for the row machine. So uh, keeping the hand in that position target essentially the same muscle as um, T-barrel, but of course I cannot get that heavy, but yeah, that's, I think, uh, very good anyway. So second set done and one more to go before moving to normal rows. So see you in the next set. Okay guys, last set and I will now be doing some uh, rows, I think I will do with probably uh, 50 and 70 pounds. I will try to get between 10 and 15 reps for each set, both arms. Okay, see you in the next set. So guys, I'm now up to some rows. I will do two sets for, of course, both arms with 50 and 70 pounds.
Okay guys, one last set to go and I will see you soon. Okay guys, I'm very happy that I've got 15 reps even with 70 pounds and I will leave you with some uh, um, quick words before moving on to some core exercises. Okay guys, so a few quick words before uh, finishing with core. So, first of all, I truly believe that it's very important to train um, antagonistic muscles. So, usually when I finish off uh, with, um, with back, I always train core as well. And also, what is key as well, it's very important that uh, in order to have uh, say a good level of strength, you really, really need to have both a strong core and a strong back. It doesn't really matter having 20 inches arm, that is not going to increase your bench press. Whereas if you're able to bend over row pretty much the same amount as you bench, that is a very good result. That in fact is in fact what I'm aiming to. Now my bench is slightly um, higher than my bend over, but my target is to bring my bend over to the weight I can bench press. And of course, uh, another point, my main uh, idea with back training is to increase my deadlift. Right now I'm uh, 160 kilos, my target is to bring, the, bring uh, my deadlift to 180 kilos, which I think is uh, 4 or 5 pounds. So that is going to be a long way to go, but I think that some um, step by step, I mean some small step and any type of uh, training I can put in, put in will bring me closer to the, uh, to the target and especially variations. So I will be mainly doing that if, if I can, but um, sometimes I throw in some bend over rows row machine and I really like also um, the cable machine if I have access to lap pull downs and so on and so forth. So um, to finish off, uh, usually either before training, so while I warm up or at the end of the training, I like to finish off with, uh, as I say, some core, but also some exercises for the muscle group. I trained the day before. So in last session I've done arms, so I like to do some very light bicep curls. If I've done back, usually I do some very light one hand row. Uh, if I do chest, I go on the inclined chest machine. So just to give you an idea, and that helps because it brings blood to those muscles that might be sore and helps recovering how to speed up recovery. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. This helps the channel a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe. And of course, guys, for who stays with me until the end, a little pause down.
Okay guys, and with this, I will see you in the next one.